it's Helen from Los Angeles English School and uh, this is uh, part number two of a series of videos on irregular verb forms and we hope that this series will help you remember and learn three forms of irregular verbs and in today's lesson we are going with you to learn uh, a new set of irregular verb forms and I would like you to listen carefully to read and to repeat them after me. I decided to organize all irregular verbs in such a way that they can be easily remembered and um, it will help you to remember them for a long time. So let's get started. Could you please repeat after me? Sleep, slept, slept. Leave, left, left. Read, read, read. Keep, kept, kept. Send, sent, sent. Meet, met, met. Make, made, made. So let's repeat again. Sleep, slept, slept. Leave, left, left. Read, read, read. Keep, kept, kept. Send, sent, sent. Meet, met, met. Make, made, made. And the last time, okay? And now very quickly. Sleep, slept, slept. Leave, left, left. Read, read, read. Keep, kept, kept, sent, 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 meet, met, met, make, made, made. Okay, well done. And now we'll practice the second form of these irregular verbs, past simple. Okay, so let's go to the next part. Okay, and now let's practice with you the verb uh, leave, left, left. Okay? Uh, so let's remember with you the present simple tense if we're going to talk about the usual activities, usual actions. So if we speak usually, we say, what time do you usually leave the office? Okay, so you need to use leave. And don't forget that you need to use also the helping verb do, if we speak about usually. Okay, and the answer, I usually okay, leave at 6 p.m. So I usually leave at 6 p.m. So it's, we just remembered with you a little bit the present simple, okay? Now let's practice with you the past simple tense. If we're going with you to talk about the past simple, don't forget that we need to use the helping verb did. And now when we have a question and we are going to talk about the past simple, here we have the indication of time last night. So we have last night, it means that we are going to talk about the past simple. Don't forget to use did, and when you make a question, did you... Okay, so you need to use leave. Did you leave at 6 o'clock last night? Okay, so did you leave? Okay, uh, when we are going with you to say negatively, if we have the negative sentence, so what do we need to say? We say no, I didn't. Okay. No, I didn't. Okay. So, did you leave at 6 o'clock last night? No, I didn't. And now when we have the positive answer, when we have the positive sentence, the statement uh, for past simple, I hope that you remember, we need to use with you the second form of the verb. Here it is left. So, you say, I left. I left, and let's remember, I left, you left, we left, he left, she left, everybody left, okay? I left at 8 last night, okay? And when we have the negative sentence, don't forget please to use the helping verb didn't, yeah? I didn't, okay? I didn't leave at 6 p.m. Why leave? Because we have didn't and didn't indicates that this is the past simple, okay? I didn't leave at 6 p.m., okay? So let's repeat again just for you to have it in your mind, okay? Repeat after me, please. Did you leave at 6 o'clock last night? No, I didn't. I left at 8 last night. I didn't leave at 6 p.m., okay? So, thanks. Now let's go to the next part. We will practice another verb. 
And I'm glad to introduce to you our next irregular verb. <laughs> Let's have a look at the word. It's read, read, read. Uh, so pay attention that the spelling is the same, but pronunciation is different. Read, it's usually present, read, past, and past participle also read. So read, read, read. Okay, so write down the same, please, but don't forget to pronounce correctly depending on the tense you're going to use. Okay? So let's practice in the sentences. Uh, first, it's uh, she books every day. Here you can see we have every day. If it's every day, you understand that this is present simple, yeah? Uh, since we have she, don't forget to say that she reads books every day. Yeah? So we need to say reads. Don't forget to add s because this is she, he, she, it reads. Okay? Now let's go to the past simple. Uh, we have here did. It indicates that we need to use past simple. Okay? Did she? Okay. Did she read that in the papers? Did she read? Don't forget to pronounce it correctly. Read because we have did. Did she read that in the papers? Yes, she did. Okay. Did she read that in the papers? Yes, she did. Let's make the whole statement uh, positive. So, she read that in the papers. Okay? So, she read. She read that in the papers. And now we are going with you to practice didn't. So, she didn't. Okay? She didn't read. She didn't read that on this website. Okay? So let's practice again. Could you repeat this after me? Mm -hmm. Did she read that in the papers? Yes, she did. She read that in the papers. She didn't read that on this website. Okay, thanks. Well done. Now let's go to our next verb. And our last verb for today is make, made, made. Okay, and uh, let's repeat with you a little bit the present simple, okay? Just to compare present past, okay? Uh, she always, pay attention, always a big chocolate cake on her birthday. I would like you to uh, think and to give me the answer. She always makes, okay, she always makes, don't forget about us, she, he, it, okay? She always makes a big chocolate cake on her birthday. Okay, now let's go on to the past simple. Here we have did, so we need to use past simple, don't forget. Did you, he, she, it, so everybody. Did you, great, did you make, did you make that decision on your own? So we have here make because we have did, the helping verb. Did you make that decision on your own? No, I... Great. <laughs> didn't. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. I didn't make... So since we have didn't, yeah, I didn't make that decision myself. So on your own, if you don't know, it means myself, okay? On my own, on your own, on her own, uh, on his own, and so on. So if on my own, it means myself. So I didn't make the decision myself. My parents, what did my parents do? My parents... Great, made. My parents made it. My parents made it. Okay, so let's repeat again for you to memorize. Did you make the decision on your own? No, I didn't. I didn't make that decision myself. My parents made it. Okay, so that's it for now. I hope that this video was helpful and you can learn more irregular verbs if you are going to continue watching our videos because in the next series we are going with you to learn more irregular verb forms. 
so that's it for now. Uh, you can visit our website losangelesenglishschool.com. Don't forget to practice more uh, using our downloadable exercises. And I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day!